today I'm telling my mountain biking story. So I started really mountain biking in about 2017, 2018. I had been able to bike for a while and had just biked to school, but I would now done trails a few times, mainly fire roads and just little single track to get from one neighborhood to another, but I started to do more trails and that's when I kind of started to go to China camp. I didn't go nearly as hardcore as I do now and actually went really, really slow. But I still did it, and it was not as often. Now I do about two or three rides per week. That was about maybe two, one, kind of dependent on the month. So about one or two rides a month. Then in 2019, I just didn't really mountain bike. I just kind of lost interest and didn't really do it. Just more focused on school and sports and stuff. Then the pandemic happened. In England, Egypt's health ministry has the latest Italian health report here. Characterized at home. Stay home, stay safe. Quite simply. So now with the pandemic, my friends had really started to mountain bike a lot. They had done mountain biking camps and did it often, but I never went with them. I just wasn't really interested and did other activities. And then all sports were canceled and school was closed and we needed something to do. So I met up one time with them after they had been mountain biking and I asked them if I could join them next time. And that's where it all began. And this was in March and we went on run ride and I was hooked. I remember riding every single day that week. Then in May I started to watch mountain biking YouTube and I got really hooked on that as well because it was interesting. And then I was like, why don't I just do the same thing they're doing and show what, how I'm starting to learn to mountain bike. I even started building my own backyard bike trail, but that fizzled off and was wrong for a lot of reasons I have to explain in another video. And that's where this channel was born. Then after a ride, I was coming home and I found some jumps. I had never done jumps before. I jumped curves. We found little, but there were nothing like the jumps I saw. Now looking back on it, these jumps were tiny, probably two to three feet, but they were huge to me back then. So that night I got home and I texted my friends about these, and the next day after school we went and read them. You can see how small these were and how cool I thought I was getting barely any air, but it was a start for me. So now we get into the summer season, and I'm actually starting to get kind of good. I quickly took to the XC style of riding because I couldn't do long downhills, but I had the strength to do long uphills. Now in August 2020, school is starting again, but we are still doing online school. Our online school ended normally a few hours before it normally would, so I had a lot more time to mountain bike. I rode a lot in August. This doesn't mean I was always riding trails, but I was always doing something. In 2020, the fires in California were really bad. There's always a fire you hear about, but you're never really worried. In 2020, I was worried. This limited my mountain biking a lot, not because I was scared of fires, but because it was unsafe for me to go outside. And not that I was going to get caught up in a fire, but the smoke. Then the rain came, and I wasn't only excited because this would make the trails better and easier to ride, but this would put out the fires. Then on January 3rd, I rode with my buddy Austin. We were having like a New Year ride to celebrate, and I had my worst crash I've ever had. I didn't get physically hurt at all, but it hurt me mentally a lot. I'd just been catching on to mountain biking a lot, and I was starting to be pushing myself a lot, and this really limited me. I was scared after it. I didn't really heavy mountain bike until about March probably, taking two months off of heavy mountain biking. I still was riding every week, but not what I used to be doing. I was still doing online school, and by March I had recovered a lot and was starting to ride a lot more because of course the days were shorter. I was riding with friends and 
we'd even started to build another trail after I first stopped my other trail, but we started to build another friends and that was going really well. In June, I visited Santa Cruz for a month. There was no bikes there and I didn't bring my own and I didn't really mountain bike at all. Except for one ride where I rented a $6,000 track and went on a long adventure that didn't work out. Now we've gone to multiple bike parks since I got back and I'm starting to get really back into it and I've been riding a lot recently. I'm still on the same bike from where it all began with a few upgrades and I'm having as much fun as I did when I started. This was my mountain biking story and I hope you enjoyed it.